Hi everybody, this is my new EcoWorthy 12 volt 20 amp hour lithium battery. I bought this uh, at Amazon for $129 plus tax. Uh, shipped to the door was about $140, a little over $141, $42. This is an interesting battery. It's got lugs on top and it's got a barrel connector right there. You can open it up and it's got a, a barrel connector. There you go. Okay. This weighs about five pounds. You can put it in any direction. Uh, interesting battery. So let me read some of the stats for you here. It's uh, 240 watt hours. Maximum charge voltage is 14.5 volts. I've just fully charged it to about 14.2 volts. Uh, discharge cutoff is 10 volts. Maximum charge current is 20 amps. So the most you can put into it charging is 20 amps. Maximum discharge current is 25 amps. So this should run most ham radios, uh, VHF, UHF radios. It'll run some HF radios as long as you're not on, you know, full power. Uh, this is very interesting. I'm going to use this uh, for ham radio. I'm going to use it to uh, run some uh, solar powered lightings. This is uh, very interesting. I really like this case. Very nice. It seems like it's well built. Uh, pretty nice. Now, this is 20 amp hour, and I usually get BioNO batteries. I love BioNO. The first class, very good quality. But a 20 amp hour uh, BioNO is going to be 200, about 204 dollars plus shipping plus tax. That starts really adding up. This was shipping and tax. It cost me about 143 dollars. So. Did I get uh, uh, ripped off for the lower price or did I find a gem? Well, let's find out. I'm going to uh, run this. I don't have any fancy equipment to test it, but I'm going to run a, uh, a DC, my endless breeze fan. I'm going to run that at high power should be about three amps. And then uh, we'll keep track of it here on my meter. And let's we'll see how many hours it runs off this battery. It's a fully charged battery. So let's go here. Starting the endless breeze. And well, it looks like it's running three and a half amps. Interesting. So if I drop this just a little bit down to the second mode it goes to 2.21 amps so let's go back up to high and we're gonna push it to the uh, three three and a half amp uh, change between 3.4 three and a half so we're gonna run this for as many hours as it takes for this to go into low voltage disconnect it says it's 10 volts I did uh, try an experiment yesterday and it actually low voltage out at about 11.1 volts Which I don't really like that if it says 10 volts. I want it to be 10 volts But it's fully charged today and we're gonna see how long it takes uh, To make this 20 amp hour battery go into low voltage disconnect We are at four hours and about 45 minutes Here's ongoing data. As you can see, the DC fan is taking a little over three continuous amps. Voltage has dropped down to 12.66. Uh, we're at, uh, let me see what we have here. So amp hours is at 13.51. And uh, let's see, watt hours. is 150 so the goal is 240 that's what the uh, uh the battery says it's supposed to do but let's find out this is uh about four you know a little over four almost getting close to five hours and uh let's see when this battery goes into low voltage disconnect it's now running on five hours and i'll show you the stats here 
voltage is at 12.63. It's running, uh, the fan is running at uh, just about three amps continuous, a little bit less than when the battery is fully charged. Right now we're doing, let me see, amp hours at 14 amp hours. And watt hours was looked like it was 156. Let's wait till it comes around again. Watt hours 156. Okay. Now something I wanted to mention to you about this battery is it does not have a low temperature cutoff. So here in Southern California, uh, unless I go up into the freezing mountains, there's just no issue for me. But for those of you that are going to be in a situation where this battery might be used. Uh, in the uh, winter time or when it's very cold, that could be an issue for you. It does not have a low temperature uh, cutoff. For, for, like I said, for me, it's not really relevant, but it is an important feature that you need to know about. So, okay, this is about five hours and uh, it's still going pretty strong. And uh, just let, you know, let's keep the test going and let's see how long uh, this battery runs. It's now six hours and 15 minutes since we started this test. The uh, voltage is lower now, it's 10.59, so the uh, amps that the fan can get out of it is a little bit lower, so it's uh, only down to about two and a half amps. Remember at full power, uh, when the battery is fully charged, it was over three and a half amps. So right now it is, uh, 17 amp hours and 193 watt hours uh the battery says 240 watt hours so we're getting closer it's at 193 and uh, the amp hours is 20 amp hours and it says we're uh, this meter says we're at 17 right now voltage is 10.4 it's starting to oh there you go it just died at 10.4 volts the specs of this battery say it's a 20 amp hour battery. In this test, we only got 17.5 amp hours. The uh, watts is supposed to be 240 watts, but we got 192 watt hours. And the uh, low uh, disconnect says it's gonna be 10 volts, but it's at 10.4 volts. So it's not hitting the specs that are given for this battery. It's fairly close. And again, this is not professional uh, equipment here. This is the PowerWorks amp and watt meter. Um, so how accurate it is, I'm not really sure. And this test is not super scientific, but these are the results that I've got with this kind of test. So is it worth the money? Uh, is it a lot better than uh, paying $205 plus shipping and tax for a BioNO? I don't know yet. I mean, I do like this battery. I'm going to have to start using it with radios, ham radios, and other kind of equipment and see how well it holds up. So, I don't know. I don't have a real answer for you. The stats right now stand for themselves. I will have to probably put this through another test. But there you have it. Uh, the EcoWorthy is a nice battery. The case is real nice. Uh, with this kind of testing, it has not hit the uh, stated uh, specifications from the uh, battery. But again, I don't know how accurate this kind of test is. So I'll leave it to somebody else with some, uh, some better equipment and uh, better battery analyzer to get a more uh, uh, maybe a more specific, more uh, accurate test. So, okay, everybody, this is Stuart Gorski. This is my uh, my kind of uh, simple test, non-super scientific, but it is what it is.